What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Eddie Knight, hip-hop artist, producer, and self-proclaimed CBD connoisseur, man, and I'm back with another CBD hemp flower review. And today, we got a company called Green Unicorn CBD. Yes, another really dope name, Green Unicorn CBD. They sent us a pack of pre-rolls. Um, we got a few different strains. We're going to pick and see which strain that we want to try. Um, we got a few different ones. I've had a couple of them, man. They sent a lot. And uh, the ones that I have are really good, but we're going to see which one we're going to test out today, man. First off, if you're new here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So I'm going to be dropping content all the time for you guys. I'm going to stop saying weekly because it's been more of a bi-weekly schedule lately. But I'm going to get back to that weekly, I promise. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Shout out to all the old subbies, all the new subbies. If you're a CBD user, hit that subscribe and drop a comment down below yeah guys so green unicorn cbd hit me up on instagram and said they had some stuff for me to try out man so uh, i'm definitely ready to try it out just like i told them uh if it's not good i gotta let my people know can't be giving any false reviews out here just because i get free stuff i gotta keep it real i gotta keep it 100 i haven't had special sauce in a really really long time it's probably been like four months since i've had the special sauce strain so we're gonna go ahead and try that one here it is here is their packaging it's what their pre-rolls come in they sell flour as well but here's what their pre-rolls come in man i really like this this is really high quality that's glass right there probably like a really hard plastic i say glass but if it's that really hard high quality plastic that feels like um glass this little wrap around there. I got the little tube, so that pre-roll is going to stay intact in there. Let's go ahead and open that bad boy up. See that smell? Smells good. I, special sauce is a really loud strain. I don't know why, but special sauce is really, really loud. It always has a good bud aroma, a good stench to it. It says on here, they're a 0.75 gram pre-roll, so they're just under a gram. Not quite a gram, but just under a gram. Rest in peace, Chadwick Bozeman. I was going to record Friday, but after that news, I just couldn't, man. I, I tried to come in here and record and bring myself to it, but just couldn't, man. I was too down in the dumps. I'm still a little down today, so this is definitely going to help me out, man. It looks like it's 23.12% CBD. Pretty high up there for just a regular CBD flower that is not a Keef nug or anything like that. It's just pure special sauce clocking in at 23% CBD. That's nice. Special sauce is a hybrid strain, so it's a blend of indica and sativa, as well as it has a 4% moisture content, a little bit over 4%, a 4.5%, which means it's going to be right in the middle as far as that moisture goes. It's not going to be like super overly sticky like a 10% say would be, but it's also not dried out, but it's a pretty decent moisture content, which I can feel just by you know, rolling the joint around in my hand, man. Let's go ahead and spark one up. And rest in peace to my guy, Chadwick Boseman, a.k.a. Black Panther. These will roll really well, man. They're packed pretty tight. Got that nice slow burn. I like my cones like that, man. This one's a little better than the other one that I had. The other one that I had had a really harsh intake. But this one's pretty solid. Not too harsh on the intake at all. It's pretty, pretty good. It's pretty good. But look, man, let's talk about my guy. I want to take a couple minutes to talk about my guy, Chadwick Bozeman. I keep saying my guy as if I knew him. I definitely didn't know him. But um, Chadwick, was, Chadwick was a really good actor, man. And uh, I think he was really on the path to becoming a dope director as well. That's kind of what I was look, getting ready for. I was looking for... Um forward to that transitional phase of him becoming like an actor director and uh taking part in directing his own films because his artistic vision is really really dope uh, i was definitely ready to see him transition into that portion of his career i was ready to see that man and um as a superhero fan comic book nerd i was definitely ready to see what he continued to bring to the role 
of Black Panther, man. Um, just a really important role. You know, as like a comic book fan, <laughs> and a superhero fan, fan of just the nerd culture in general, you know, it, it always kind of felt like Felt like we were on the outside looking in. Even with characters that I really loved, it, it, I never felt represented by those characters. I never felt like anything like that. So, growing up in the hood, like I used to love comics and superhero stuff when I was younger, right? You would hear the homies say stuff like, "Man, that's white people stuff. Why are you messing with that white boy stuff? We don't do that. We don't rock that. We don't." You know, we don't read comics. We don't mess with superheroes. And that's for the white folks. Um, so you grew up hearing stuff like that when I was younger. Also, just kind of feeling like you were outside looking in of that community as it was. Um, it was a weird place to be because I wasn't like a nerd growing up. I was a, a quote unquote cool kid. You know, I played ball, high school, college play basketball and I rap, I make music. So I was definitely not considered a nerd. So, um, usually that coach is really kind of closed off to people who didn't fit that typical nerd, um, appearance and typical nerd personality, which I didn't. Um, so I always felt outside looking in, like I said, but man, that black Panther movie really opened up comics in general it really opened up comics it really opened up comic book movies dc and marvel and all these other people they're gonna take um follow suit with that and we're gonna get some even more um black comic book characters on screen but not just black marvel has shang chi coming out which is an asian superhero you know um so yeah man um black panther just like all of chadwick's roles were really really important And that's the thing that I respected about him the most. None of his roles were like stereotypical black people roles. But at the same time, he definitely made movies aimed at a black demographic, but they were never like portraying stereotypes. Um, and I always respected that. The first time I saw him was in 42. Um, his portrayal of James Brown and Get On Up was fire. Super, super fire, man. I, I was, I love Chadwick Boseman. I was so happy um, when he was announced to play Black Panther, man, I knew he was going to kill it. I knew he was going to kill it. And I was really ready to see what he was going to do moving forward, man. But I don't want to sit and be sad. You know, I want to celebrate. You know, um, it's crazy that. He was a part of Black Panther first movie with a majority black cast to make a billion dollars in the box office then he was a part of avengers endgame another billion dollar movie he was a part of infinity war another billion dollar movie it's crazy man um and not to mention you know 21 bridges uh, and marshall where he played thurgood marshall a pretty significant important figure in uh, american history black history all that he did all this with a span of four years. He put out 10 movies in four years. That's insane. That doesn't sound like a lot. Maybe if you don't know how movies work, but you got to realize sometimes movies take up to two to three years to get made. And he put out 10 movies in four years. That is insane, crazy work ethic. Just to put that into perspective, like Leonardo DiCaprio puts out one movie every three to four years. Denzel Washington puts out one movie every three to four years. Will Smith, once every four years. You know, these people put out, that's how these superstars operate. And I, I, I'm going to be honest, I was like kind of confused on why he was kind of doing that. You know, why he was putting out so many movies in a short span of time, because I thought, I definitely looked at him as a a A list talent, and I didn't know why he was putting out so many mo movies. Um, but just now knowing what we know, it all makes sense, you know. He obviously knew what was up, and 
not only did he want to leave a legacy, but he wanted to um he wanted to make sure his family was straight, man. He wanted to make sure his family was good and didn't want for anything. And uh that's just, just A one respectable, man. Just what he did as Black Panther, man. He had one of those performances to where we're not going to be able to get another Black Panther, at least not another that version of Black Panther, for at least 15 more years. Minimum. Minimum. 15 years. He's like Tobey Maguire is Spider-Man to me, just like Michael Keaton was Batman for me, just like, you know. Whoever, just like Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. Chadwick Boseman is Black Panther. Chadwick Boseman is King T'Challa. Tough loss for the black community. Tough loss to the film community. Tough loss to the nerd community. Tough loss to the world, man, 100%. And uh, that's going to wrap up the Chadwick talk, man. I just wanted to... I couldn't make a video right after that incident without talking about it for a little bit, you know, because I really did appreciate him as an actor, man. And he was he was becoming one of those people that I held in that light of like that I held in that light of like a Jamie Foxx and that I held in that light of like a Will Smith and that light of like a Denzel Washington. He was becoming that, you know, he didn't he didn't quite have enough years in yet. You know, he just blew up really well started getting on the main big screen and 2013 so it's only been what uh less than 10 years i know he's been acting for 12 13 14 years but you know he just made it big 2012 ish so he wasn't quite there for me yet but he was on the way man and that's what makes it so freaking sad bro because we talking about a guy who had the best trainers he was in shape he he was healthy. He was positive. He was spiritual. You know, he did the right things. You know, so that's just one of those that just make me put life in perspective, man, for real. R.P. Chadwick Boseman, R.P. Black Panther, R.P. King T'Challa, man. Rest easy, King. But look, all right, now that we're done talking about that, man, um, we're going to go ahead and get into the grading portion of this video, uh, if you stuck around this long, it's not. I know this video is a little bit longer than what I usually do, but I just had to talk about Chadwick, man. Uh, too important not to, um, too too influential on, on me personally for for me not to. So I had to. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get into the grading portion of the video. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I let that sit in for about five to ten, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the grading portion of the video. Um, and you know how we do. We got to start off with. The presentation. So like I showed you earlier, they came in these tubes. Um, pretty well sealed. You got to squeeze them. Sque excuse me. You got to squeeze them and twist to pop them open. They also have a QR code right there. So if you scan that QR code, it'll pop up the lab reports for this. It'll tell you the facts on the product. It'll tell you all about the CBD percentage and pretty much everything you would need to know about the strain, how it's a hybrid strain, uh, pretty much a 50-50 blend of indica and sativa. Um, yeah, man. Pretty, pretty dope packaging. I really like this packaging, to be honest. Like, I don't know. I just like these, man. And I like how they got all the different colors for the different strains. So, uh, on the presentation, I definitely got to go five out of five for the presentation. Um, but let's go ahead and get in to the smell. Um, Special Sauce is a really dank, it's a really dank CBD flower, man. It smells so strong and potent uh that's only the second place i've had special sauce from once again it's been about four months probably since i had any special sauce and uh the last one was just as loud man the last time i had some flour though this one i just had the pre-rolled and it still was really really strong it was really dank really potent bud man um and uh just like last time man, i gotta give this special sauce as far as smell i'm gonna go 4.5 out of 5. So 4.5 out of 5 on the smell for this special sauce. Doing pretty good so far. Next, we're going to go ahead and get into the taste. 
So the taste is not bad. Uh, it has a nice piney flavor to it. Um, a, a kind of like a mildly sweet undertone and almost kind of like a, I don't want to say spicy, but kind of spicy. It's weird. Um, peppery, I guess, would be the word for it. Um, so it's not a bad taste at all. Special sauce for me personally, though, it's just a little harsh. I don't know. I don't know why, but it's the second time I've had it from a different company. Special sauce is just a little harsh for me. Keep in mind, though, I am not an habitual smoker. I don't really smoke weed. I don't. I don't smoke like that. So, if you're coming from THC, um, you might really, really love this because it's really, really strong. Um, it's not harsh. I guess harsh would be a bad word for it. It's just a really heavy smoke. It's a heavier smoke. Um, this was a lot smoother than the last special sauce I had, though, but it was still a pretty heavy smoke for me. I still feel it up in this area right here. So um, keep that in mind. If you are not a THC smoker like myself, I am not. It might be a little stout for you, but if you're coming from THC, you're probably going to love it. Um, and for that, I'm going to give it a four out of five on the taste I would give it a 4.5 or a 5 maybe if it wasn't so heavy. I'm just not a fan of the heavy smokes myself. Next, we're going to go to the effects. Um, that's the most important part to me. This is a 50-50 hybrid, and uh, it pretty much explains it perfectly. It's a really, really balanced feel. Um, if I were to go bury up in the couch and watch TV, I could definitely go to sleep right now. But if I had errands to run, if I had stuff to do, um, if I wanted to wake and bake this, I could, you know, it's a really balanced feel. It doesn't make you too tired. It doesn't make you too uplifted. It's a really even mellow ride with this. I really appreciate that feel. I love my hybrid strains. I'm going to give that effect a four out of five as well. And I'll put the overall score right here for you. Yep. Marvel at that. That's what we got. That's going to be the overall score of this thing. So that was a really solid score for this. Um, I'm going to record another one tomorrow and another one the next day and another one the next day until I get through all these. And I got <laughs> I got like a lot of packages of flour that I just haven't recorded yet. So I got to get to all those. So I'm going to get back to the weekly schedule. I promise. I promise. But look, guys, I appreciate y'all for tuning into this video. If you stuck around this long, salute to you. You are, you are a trooper, man. Um, RP to chat with Bozeman, aka Black Panther, man. To all the night owls out there, subscribe to the page. Go ahead and drop RIP King T'Challa or RIP Black Panther or RIP Chadwick down in the comments, man. But look, it's your boy Eddie Knight. I'm out. On the road to success with my hype beams on. I ain't made it yet, but I still dream on. Lost in my head and my thoughts get dark. I can't even seem to find a light no more. Honestly, I don't want to fight no more. Give me anything to make time go slow. Can't have these thoughts in my mind no more. Cause I can't seem to find a time no more for these pipe dreams.